The marriage is a sham. Always has been. I know it. Nora knows it. Everyone knows it. She does love me, and maybe in some other life I could love her back. But now all I can see is her walking into that insurance office and signing that $10,000 policy. Every day, it's a new scenario, a new attack, a new plan. I could finally quit this job, move out to Hollywood, write that book, never make another chair or desk again. Ten thousand reasons for Nora to die. I should stop thinking about it and finally do it. Maybe after dinner. Put something in her cocktail. A poison of some sort. Then cut her up. Her body can't be found. I have to get rid of her. Bury her. Way out, right by the old maple one. No one goes out in those woods anymore. It'd be the perfect spot. That's where I'd bury her. But what about the deed itself? I can't leave any trace that happened. It has to be perfect. Every angle covered. Explanations well planned. Tomorrow morning, right before she wakes up is when I'll do it. By breakfast, I'll be rich. Basking in the wealth Nora's death will bring me. Sleep well, my bride. For after tomorrow, it's never going to be the same. The marriage was a sham. I always knew it, and so did he. I did love him once, but that part of me died a long time ago. It was going to be one of us, him or I, if only he had paid as much attention to his insurance policy as he did mine. He would have known his life was worth $20,000, as opposed to my ten. dollars